Hi there. In this video, we'll look at how to graph the equation y equals 2x. In this problem, just like any other, the first thing we should try to do is understand the task. In general, a graph is just a set of ordered pairs. To graph this equation, we're told that to get the y-coordinate, we must multiply the x-coordinate by 2. That's what this formula is telling us. So with that understanding in mind, let's actually generate a few ordered pairs that go along with this graph. We're free to choose whatever value we want for x. How about 5? Plugging 5 in for x, we get 2 times 5, which is 10. So now we see when x is 5, y must be 10. When we go to make the graph of this, we had better see the ordered pair 5 comma 10 on that graph. All right, let's choose a different value of x. How about 8? Whoops. When we plug in 8, we get 16. So 8, 16 is also on this graph. Now that we've got the idea down about how to generate ordered pairs, let's do that in an organized fashion. I'll choose small whole number values for x. Whoops and plug them into the formula. 2 times 0, 2 times 1, 2 times 2, and 2 times 3. Let's now go and plot the ordered pair 0, 0, 1, 2, 2, 4, and 3, 6. Wonder what happens when we use negative values for x? Let's find out. 2 times negative 1, 2 times negative 2, 2 times negative 3, give these values here. Plotting points, we get negative 1, negative 2, negative 2, negative 4, and negative 3, negative 6. It looks as though this graph is just going to make a straight line. Before we jump to that conclusion, let's do one more thing. What happens if we choose a point in between these two dots, like 0.5? Ooh, interesting. 2 times 0.5 gives 1.0. Over 0.5, up 1.0. Look at that, right in between those two dots. If I were to plug in 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, I'd get dots in here. And if I plug in all sorts of values, I get all sorts of dots that lie on this line. So if we were to sketch out the entire graph, normally we just make a solid line, but it's important to keep in mind that solid line really represents this infinite collection of dots. And that's how to graph y equals 2x. Thanks!